Hello, this is Dr. Martina, your online sex therapist and sexuality educator. We have arrived at the third of three videos on Masters and Johnson Sensitive Focus, and I will be talking about phase four today and phase five. Before I get into the phase five exercise, I will make a short recap on the four ones before. And, um, and I highly recommend if you're just jumping into this learning process here and you have not reviewed video one and two, I highly recommend you do it because those two are essential in order to understand what we're doing here today. So here we go, phase four. Just like the previous exercises, this one is about touching and being touched, but at the same time. So the sunset focus phase four exercise is about mutual touching. This exercise of mutual touching can be a little more difficult and challenging because you're the toucher and the receiver at the same time. But if you have practice, you'll be able to apply your newly found, improved, newly improved sensory perceptions and um, you will be able to experience simultaneously what your fingers are touching and what it feels like to be touched. There's still no kissing and no intercourse. Kissing will put you automatically, will put you on the autopilot and that will turn into a sexual focus rather quickly. Remember what you're trying to achieve here, you're trying to bring sensuality back into your bedroom and that means you have to focus on your senses. Um, if you're getting too sexual, if you're becoming too sexual, it is perfectly okay um, to ask your partner to do the touching for a while and you just lie back. And um, if that also happens, if you're becoming too sexual, it's um, recommended that you maybe avoid the sexual areas. This phase four exercise comes with two variations. One of the variations is to add oral stimulation as part of your sensual play. Oral stimulation does not mean oral sex. It means using your tongue and lips to sensually explore your partner's body. There is a big difference between these two intentions. Exploring your partner's body with your mouth and tongue will give you a chance to see how different it can be when you approach it as a sensual exploration. The other variation is you can try to change the venue, like moving from the bed into the shower. Water and soap are adding a different element to the experience of touch and being touched, which provides for interesting and different feelings and perceptions. So this was phase four. And before we go to phase five, the last exercise, as promised, I wanna give you a quick recap of the four previous exercises. Sense that focus exercises are about touching and being touched, and that cannot be repeated enough. In phase one exercise, there's a toucher and a receiver and the genitals and breasts are off limits and so is kissing. There's a time limit of 15 minutes and then you switch roles. For phase two exercise, the genitals are included and the breasts too, but no kissing and no intercourse. Sensit Focus adds a twist with the technique of handwriting and a suggestion for a different position. For phase three, the exercise is as phase two, but with the addition of oil or lotion. In phase four, the exercise calls for mutual touching, but still no intercourse or no kissing. The added twist is that oral stimulation is allowed, but not oral sex. And it is suggested to try a, to try a different venue for the exercise, like the shower. So this is the quick recap of the four exercises that I promised which brings us now to the last level of sensed focus, the phase five exercise. And the exercise is about sensual intercourse. Sensual intercourse. That sounds wonderful, doesn't it? It is time to bring that in into this program. So now you can actually collect all the newly improved skills that you have about sensory perception and you can bring it to the realm of genital contact. Keep in mind that the goal is, is always to do and experience what you find interesting and pleasurable. Okay, you don't want to dive right into it. And I mean this literally. You want to start with some non-genital touch so you can get into the focus and into the rhythm of it. Be aware 
of your fingertips, listen to them, and don't worry about your arousal. Gradually, you're going to bring in the genital touch, breast touch, um, and don't be shy about using the handwriting technique. Just make sure that you don't take over and that you are directing the whole scene. When you're both comfortable, um, move into a position that could allow um, penetration, but make sure that you don't insert your penis yet, or your finger, or your object. Use the same principles of sensitive focus that you have been using um, to continue the touching. But now let your bodies also do the, some of the touching. So get into the rubbing against each other, feeling the genitals against your body, and add that to this exercise. At this stage, there are no specific roles. Everyone, uh, you're not the giver or the receiver, everyone can touch whatever they think is um, interesting and pleasurable to their senses. Um, make sure that before you get into the act of penetrating, make sure that you are become aware of this new sound, newfound sensation of this kind of a touch, being that close with your body. Now, when there's a desire to penetrate, start slowly, and I mean really slowly. Take your time to insert the penis, the, the finger, or the object. And then, when you're, in, when you're completely connected, take, um, take a few seconds just to stay with that closeness and that connection, and don't move at all, both of you. And that, I promise you, that will create uh, a big moment, a uh, deep moment of intimacy. Um, also make sure that when you start moving again, what kind of a sensation that you get with very subtle movements. I know we, we're not aware of that when we have sex, but when we feel our sensuality, those are the things that we get to feel. Um, once you have tried these very central variations, you may want to go deeper and faster. Some couples actually want to go more shallow and faster. Um, however you would like to do it, um, make sure that you keep the focus on the sensations and allow yourself to experience this new way of penetrating and being penetrated. At last, if you enjoy sensual intercourse and you want to use this approach from time to time, make sure that you tell your partner that in advance. Communication is the key to healthy sensuality and sexuality. So, that was the famous Sensit Focus exercise by Masters and Johnson. You have learned a set of touching exercises which aims to build trust and intimacy within a relationship, helping to give and receive pleasure. And before I send you off, I would like to give you just a couple pointers to remember. And that is, um, be aware of all the feelings, good or bad, you're having as you're exploring your body. Notice what it's like, physically and emotionally, to be so present with yourself. Um, resist the urge to hurry or to climax. And if you do get there, try to stay in your body, focusing on what you feel as you do. I use this exercise, have been using this exercise, and will use this exercise a lot in my practice. And if you need any help, any assistance, um, reach out to me. I'm available for online sessions. Thank you very much for your attention and um, have fun practicing and love each other. Take care.